Hey guys, and welcome to my first tech tutorial. And this is how to make a safe nuclear reactor. This will not explode if you do not tamper with it. And if it does, this is this is a too thick casing made out of rainfall stone. This should stop a blast if it does blow up. Now, this does have a cooldown time, and it's not fully automatic. But it's safe. Now, to make this, you're probably going to need about three sacks of reinforced stone to make this too thick. Uh, nine uranium cells. Uh, reinforced stone. Twelve integrated heat... Uh, integrated reactor plates. Twelve integrated heat dispersers. And twenty-one coolant cells, and I recommend about nine buckets just to fill the inside of this. And you can always make an infinite water source just to refill your buckets. Now let's go inside. Now this is running right now, and I'll leave this on the screen for, I don't know, a few seconds. And you can pause the video here, write the setup down, take a screenshot, don't know, copy it onto your design. But this is the setup. Now this, as you can see, you use it a tiny bit, but these do cool down and do recharge. Uh, uranium does deplete though. Alright, now I'll take you to the top here. Now, the power comes straight out of this, into glass fiber cable, into an MV transformer, into the yellow bit in the back, or the odd one out if you're using default texture pack, into the LV transformer, once again same, pulls out of the red, or the normal one, non-odd one out, I don't know, and into glass fiber cable, put into the MFSU. Doesn't have to be an MFSU, and into the green bit, or the no non-odd one out. Some servers do buff nuclear reactors, so you'll have to use HV cable into a HV transformer and so on. Same as this. Now, pulling out of this, you'll have to do the MV transformer into LV transformer, just so you don't blow up machines. Now, I'm going to go show you what happens when they blow up with and without this reactor kit. Without this case. This is a reactor with too thick reinforced stone on the outside. Same setup as the other one. And I've just set out these markers around the outside to mark the explosion. Now let's hope Bill's house doesn't get destroyed. Okay, so I'll just get some uranium, just to blow it up. In we go. Stand clear now, because this thing's gonna blow. There we go. Let's go check out the damage. As you can see, it hardly even got got out. <clears throat> Only this very top bit here. Now that was the Mark 6, and that's the biggest explosion. See, didn't even damage any of these at all. Right. Well, we're at the reactor with no outer reinforced stone casing or anything. Now let's see what happens. When I put the uranium in, we'll see what how big the explosion is. I go quite far away. Now this will take a little bit.
I need to turn around and see what that is. I don't want to miss it. Ooh. Ooh, something's happening. And there we go. Let's go over and see the items now. Look, that is a huge explosion. Imagine, and that reinforced stone over there easily stopped that. Wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you if this helped or you enjoyed it, please leave a like rating. And if it was quite good, please subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Thanks and goodbye.